and welcome back to another video. Today I have five marinade recipes to share with you guys that are perfect for plant-based proteins or any proteins like tofu, seitan, mock meats, tempeh, soy curls, and even vegetables. I've also included recipe and meal ideas for each of the marinades. I never get tired of eating proteins and plant-based protein sources are never bland to me because I'm always switching up the flavors, so I compiled five of my favorites that I use more often to share with you guys. My non-vegan friends and family also really like these marinades. They said that it was super flavorful, so you can take these marinades and show your friends and family how not gross tofu is. Of course, if you're not vegan, these marinades would work with your choice of protein, but just know if you have some tofu and some vegetables lying around in your fridge, you can make a pretty bomb meal by using these marinades. Yeah. So if you like flavorful meals, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I think that's everything I want to say before getting started, so let's jump right into the video. The first one we'll be making is a lemongrass marinade inspired by one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes, bun chê. Here are all the ingredients you're going to need. Into a bowl, add in your lemongrass, minced garlic, coconut sugar, ginger, lime juice, soy sauce, sesame oil, and then just give it a whisk until it's well combined. Then go ahead and marinate your proteins or transfer it into an airtight container for storage and this one will last up to 10 days. This lemongrass marinade is savory and citrusy, super aromatic from the lemongrass and it pairs really well with rice and noodle dishes. It takes me back to all those late night family dinners at Vietnamese restaurants when I was a kid. Up next we're going to be making a gyro inspired marinade and here are all the ingredients you're going to need. Simply just combine the broth, lemon juice, soy sauce, garlic and all the spices such as garlic powder, oregano, cumin, thyme and onion powder into a bowl and whisk it together. To store this marinade, pour it into an airtight container and it'll last in the fridge up to a week. This marinade has all the flavors you would find in traditional gyros and Greek style dishes. I used to love eating Mr. Greek as a kid and this marinade is really reminiscent of all those flavors. Next up we have our mango infused teriyaki sauce and here are all the ingredients you're going to need. First into a blender add in the mango, soy sauce, vinegar, cinnamon and coconut sugar and blend. Then transfer it into a jar or you can do it straight into the blender but I just combined the ginger, garlic, pepper and chili flakes in. This marinade will last up to a week as well and this one was inspired by Hawaii where I ate a lot of pineapple teriyaki dishes but I decided to switch it up by using mangoes instead and it works really well. The mango gives it a natural sweetness and the soy sauce balances out the sweetness from the coconut sugar and all the spices just work really well in this marinade. Now we're on to the sesame miso marinade and here are all the ingredients you're going to need. Into a bowl, combine the miso paste and water and whisk it so that the miso paste dissolves. And then add in the soy sauce, maple syrup, sesame oil, ginger and the rice vinegar and mix. Then add in the sesame seeds and green onions and whisk until everything is well combined. Transfer it into an airtight container and store it in the fridge up to two weeks. This marinade is great over top rice dishes and stir fries. It has the sweet and savory notes to it and the sesame oil always brings the flavors together. Lastly, we're going to be making a coconut curry marinade and here are all the ingredients you're going to need. Into a bowl, combine the coconut milk, curry powder, cumin, coconut sugar, garlic, ginger, salt and pepper and mix until combined. Then mix in the freshly chopped cilantro and green onions and mix. To store this marinade, transfer it into an airtight container and use it within 5 days. I love this marinade for tofu dishes over rice and even in wraps. The sweetness of the coconut and the spice from the curry just work so well together and my entire kitchen smells like coconut curry every time I cook with this marinade. With all of these marinades except the mango teriyaki because you have to blend the mango, you can of course just combine everything into a jar and shake it up and you would probably save washing a bowl, but either way works. Also these marinades work really well in place for dressings and sauces. And yeah, now I'm going to show you some meal ideas for each of the marinades. 
To marinate my proteins, I pour the marinade into a shallow dish and let my protein source soak up the flavors for at least two hours, preferably overnight, and cook them off with the marinade in the pan over medium heat until slightly browned. I marinated some firm tofu in the lemongrass marinade and prepared some bunche because I've been craving them so much lately. I'll have the link to the entire bunche recipe down below if you're interested in how I made the sauce and the pickled vegetables as well. For the gyro inspired marinade, I made a Greek salad bowl which I will also have the full recipe linked down below. I used tempeh for my protein choice and cooked it off until slightly browned. This dish is really really good and it takes me back to when I used to eat Greek food in the food courts as a kid all the time. All the flavors and textures are there, definitely try this one out if you like Greek food. For the mango teriyaki marinade, I marinated some extra pressed tofu strips kind of like rehydrated soy curls and fried them off until browned. I like to put them into my sandwiches. It works super well with the freshness from the cucumbers and tomatoes and the crusty hot toasted slices of bread. Lots of textures going on here, which I love. For one of our Friday dining night with my boyfriend, we used the garden beef tips and stir fried it with the sesame miso marinade and the gyro marinade with some vegetables and served it with some rice and wedges and it was so, so like really, really good. And lastly for the coconut curry marinade, I made a coconut curry stir fry using some random ingredients my boyfriend picked up at the store for me to meal prep for him. Yeah, I really don't know why he bought three different bell peppers and a huge red onion, but um, he said he wanted color um, but it turned out really good. I only marinated it for 20 minutes so the flavors didn't soak up the best but the flavors of the marinade was really good and on top of rice with all the colorful vegetables it was really good. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite flavor of marinade is. I'd love to know and if you try any of these recipes out don't forget to tag me or DM me on Instagram. I love seeing all of your recreations and as always thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and an amazing week and I'll see you in the next one. We got a whole lot of new money though. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the fork pot, pot. We came from nothing.